Hi, this is Kev Randall. This is part of the video is part of the course on OCR Maths Core 1. And this is a section on differentiation. Um, if we consider a curve, say in this case y equals x squared, the at x equals naught, the gradient of that curve is, is zero. So the the curve is horizontal at x equals naught, so the gradient is zero. As we move up the curve with increasing x, the gradient increases. So there, that tangent represents the gradient. And then further up the curve, y equals x squared, we've got a steeper tangent, so a steeper gradient. Differentiation allows us to find the gradient in terms of x at any point on the curve. We use the notation dy dx or sometimes f dash x for the gradient. So for the curve y equals x squared, which is the one we use there, to find the gradient, which is dy dx or dy by dx, we take the indice there, which is 2, and bring it in front of the x, so that gives us 2x. Then we subtract 1 from the index, 2 minus 1 is 1, and x to the 1 is just 2x. So the gradient of that curve, y equals x squared, can be found by 2x. Got another one, y equals x cubed. The process is the same. You've got dy dx equals take the 3, bring it in front of the x, so we've got 3x. Not 1 off the index, 3 minus 1 is 2, so we've got 3x squared. So dy dx is 3x squared. Another example, we've got y equals x to the power 4. You're probably getting the idea now. Then dy dx, which is the gradient, equals bring the 4 down, so we've got 4 x cubed, 4 minus 1 is 3. Example D, here we've got a coefficient of x, uh, x cubed is 6. So what do we do with that? dy by dx, bring the 3 down and multiply it by the 6. So 3, 6 is 18, x, not 1 off the cube, and we get squared. So do I the x is 18x squared. For e, y equals minus 4x to the power 4. As before, bring the 4 down, multiply it by the minus 4, we get minus 16x to the power 4 minus 1 is 3, so minus 16x cubed. F, y equals 4x squared plus 1 over x, so 1 over x squared. So we need to rewrite that a little bit first, we've got y equals 4x squared then 1 over x squared, let's convert that to index form, is x to the minus 2. No negative index. So then we'll differentiate, and we get dy dx equals 2 times 4 is 8. That's 8x. 2 minus 1 is 1, so it's just 8x. Plus, sorry, minus 2 times 1 is minus 2x. Not 1 off the minus 2, we get minus 3. So do I dx is 8x minus 2x to the minus 3, which equals 8x to minus 2 over x cubed. So to generalise then, if we've got y equals ax to the n, then we can say dy dx is going to be equal to 
a times n x to the n minus 1. And that's a general rule for differentiating y with respect to x, as we say. That gives us the gradient of the curves, the gradient being dy by dx. So examples from exam papers. y equals 4x to the power 5 minus 1 over x squared. What we're asked to do there in this actual question from an exam paper is find dy dx and the 2y by dx squared, which is the second differential. I'll show you how to do that in a second. So differentiating first, if y equals that, then y equals 4x to the 5 minus, we'll rewrite that as x to the minus 2. Makes it easier to handle. So dy dx equals 5 times 4 is 20. x, 5 minus 1 is 4, 4. Minus 2 times minus 1 is plus. x, minus 2 is 2x. Minus 2 minus 1 is minus 3. And we can rewrite that as 20x to the power 4. minus 6x, sorry, plus 2x, 2 over x cubed. The 2y, the x squared, we differentiate the first differential, as it were. So 4 times 20 is 80, 4 minus 1 is 3, minus 3 times plus 2 is minus 6x, Minus three times uh, minus three minus one is minus four. So it's minus six x to the minus four. Rewriting that gives us eighty x cubed. Minus six over x to the power four. So that's an actual exam question. And there the answers. So that's dy dx and. 2y dx squared, sometimes called the second derivative or second differential. Example 2. Here we're using the function notation. So if the function of x, fx equals 3, 3x cubed plus 1 over x plus 6. We're asked to find the first differential, which is f dashed x, and the second, which is f double dashed x. So first of all, we'll rewrite fx as 3x cubed plus x to the minus 1, plus 1 over x plus 6. Then we'll find f dashed x by differentiating. 3 times 3 is 9. x squared minus 1 times x is minus x to the minus 2. Now the differential of plus 6 of a constant is 0. So if we try and differentiate a constant, we get 0, so we ignore that. So that rewrites as 9x squared minus 1 over x squared. That's f dashed. The second differential, f double dashed. The same process again. 2 times 9 is 18. x, 2 minus 1 is 1, so it's just 18x. Minus 2 times minus 1 is plus 2. x than minus 3. And we can rewrite that as 18x plus, plus 2 over x cubed.
there are real examples that will come up on your exam paper without doubt definitely 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 so thanks for watching look out for more videos in the series